Europe. She was the proprietress of the Sacramento Beer Saloon. Born in Germany, like many before and after her, she came here to seek her fortune. Two weeks prior to her death, Peter Metz asked her to marry him. She not only refused, but she also laughed at him. Well, over the next few weeks, something changed, at least in Peter's mind, because he told his good friend John Zwicker that Maria had agreed to marry him, and in fact, they were going to be married the next day. He even said he was going to take charge of her business. John laughed at Peter and said, there's no way you can get Maria. And Peter said, well, if not me, then no one else. She will die first. Around 11.30 p.m. on November 18th of 1857, Maria was in her saloon, seated at the piano, playing music, singing songs, when Peter came into the saloon. He walked up, sat down next to her, put his hand around her neck as if to kiss her, and then thrust a knife into her right breast. Maria fell backwards into the arms of a man named John Knoll. He carried her upstairs, where she died within 30 minutes. Peter Metz turned himself into Sheriff Manlove the next morning and was placed in prison. Maria's funeral procession was grand. There were 23 carriages and buggies. All of the pallbearers wore white scarves and white rosettes. And when her body arrived here at the cemetery, a requiem was sung by a German quartet. Her body was laid in a vault, awaiting the viewing of her legitimate fiance who lived in San Francisco. Peter Metz was found guilty of murdering Maria Rupp, 25 years old. Her fiance was so heartbroken, he never married. And when he died, it is said that his actual heart was brought here to lay with Maria, his true love. He didn't leave his heart in San Francisco. He left it right here in Sacramento.